So this video is about the, you know, 10, it's a 10 part series of ideas that you can implement in your distribution center tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, no systemic change, very simple process change that you can implement right away, right? Um, and, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do this. And we already finished nine videos and hopefully you got a chance to look at all of them and uh, implement some of the ideas. We'd love to hear your thoughts and how those worked out for you. And this is number 10. See, anything you do in your distribution center, if you want to manage them, you have to measure them. It's very, very important. Anything you do, always measure, right? For example, if you gave somebody, you know, uh, to cycle count locations, or you gave a person to sort some boxes, or, you know, move some pallets, right? Always measure, always measure, because without measuring, you cannot manage, right? It might be, it might not be a, you know, beautiful way of measuring, just, you know, it might not be a high tech, you know, fancy way of measuring, but have a simple paper, sheet of paper, and have them write down, how many boxes they did, how many locations they counted, how many pallets they moved, right? Whatever it is, because that gives a, you know, you're able to measure, you're able to compare, you're able to make sure, you know, people are doing the job and, you know, stuff gets done and, and you know, from an operations perspective, you're, you're being efficient, right? That's very, very simple um, principle. Follow that, you know, everywhere. So, you know, if you want to manage something, you've got to measure, right? That's the number 10. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully you got a chance to watch all the videos and implement some of the ideas and that worked out for you. I would love to hear your thoughts and, you know, um, good luck on implementing these ideas. Thank you very much.